Hey guys, and welcome back to the Ringer 57 YouTube channel. So, we've done a lot to Susie, and a lot of it's been done off camera just because of time, lighting, and the fact that I needed to pay really good attention to what I was doing, and it just isn't allowed when you're trying to video. So, what have we done? We've got the cams degreed in. They were at 89 and 117. They actually needed to be at 104 and 103. We are now at 104.25 and 102.75. I'm gonna live with that. Uh, so they're degreed in, the sprockets are tack welded on, it's all set and ready to go. Uh, the velocity stacks, I ordered a set of GSXR 1000 airbox velocity stacks. They'll work just perfectly fine. They fit right up, of course, always gonna be the best option. Uh, the air shifter is now set up on auto shift up here so that we can rely more on that and I ain't got to reach for two buttons. Uh, the launch control has been turned into launch rev limit. So I set it at 7800 because the auto shift is at 9800 and I don't want it to shift coming out of the hole. So I will launch normally, hand clutch launch, no launch, and then hit it and as soon as I hit wide open throttle I'm going to position my thumb to nail the switch. I'd like to put it on a watt switch. I eventually will put it on a watt switch, but I don't have one installed right now. So we'll get that set up. Uh, I could just program it, put it on a switch, and program it to 90% uh, throttle or better. But I don't know if I trust the ECU entirely. I want to have some override. So that's the plan there. Uh, what else have we done? Two kits of nitrous. So we have two separate nitrous solenoids now. Uh, one is a 15 shot, one is a 40 shot. Uh, the 15 shot will be right as soon as I hit wide open throttle, I will hit that thing and it'll dig me out of the hole. And then the 40 shot will come in about two seconds later. I can narrow that down closer, but I should be like three quarters of a second after launch on wide open throttle. So I wanna get past 60 foot before that one comes in. I can always adjust it. Uh, the air shifter dead times are set right. Uh, the clutch is replaced with a brand new set of OEM steels, OEM clutch uh, retainer, center section, and pressure plate, and OEM discs. I've put both heavies in there now because I have a feeling I was slipping it too much. I need bite out of the hole. So we'll go ahead and run with them and see what happens. Uh, still on the 440 injectors, we switched fuels. We're no longer on C16. I have to retune now, but we are on 93, cut 50-50 with 110. I believe the compression has never been as much as I thought it was, or I was told it was, because I sent the pistons, well, I sent the block and head off to a machinist, a motorcycle engine building company that I'm not going to name. Uh, if you're interested, you can always look back. And I got it back, and I did not get the pistons that I ordered. I got much lower compression pistons than I ordered, so they were supposed to mill the head. Uh, I don't think they milled it as much as they said they milled it. So we're just going to run with this and see what it does. Uh, I'm working on an oil cooler line. I had to change the filter still, put oil in it, and I'm waiting for a scale that's supposed to be here tomorrow or Sunday so I can weigh some washers and throw some weight on the lockup because... I lost the original washer, so I need to weigh the ones that are on there and get new ones. But beyond that, it's about ready to rock and roll. I will throw the fairings back on it tomorrow, get this oil line set up tomorrow, put oil in it, and go out and tune on it a little bit. Uh, if the scale shows up, I'll go ahead and do the clutch, but I can do that anytime. Adjusting the lockup is simple. It's like eight bolts. Uh, yeah, that's where we're at. We're going to see if she likes this setup a little better. I've taken some advice from a lot of people. Some people who've made very, very, very fast bikes in the past. Uh, the same people who are talking me into starting another engine build. Uh, so I'm going to be doing a Booza Rods and Pistons engine. Booza Rods and Piston engine. Uh, and we'll throw that one together out of the old motor. That is going to be going off for a fun package. But I'd really like to do that package on the other bike first. Because that other bike, Nitrous, is fun. Nitrous is not fun on the street. You run out of gas. And you can't park in the sun because the bottle gets too damn hot and then it hits like a freaking brick shit house. And that's not fun anyway. There's nothing fun about going backwards. Uh, so, yeah. We'll see how tomorrow does. Uh, I'm just posting this up to keep you guys up to date. I got a couple videos. I still need to edit the videos from Dragonfly. 
I've been tired, guys. Real tired. And it's not going to get any better once I get back to work. Thanks for watching.